Hello everyone, I'm Alistair and welcome back to the Timberborn Thousand Islands to our lovely Elysium where I needed to build a couple of more houses because I was getting so many homeless, o almost, not almost, around 40 beavers was homeless. So I needed to build this new house and this tree. I know I didn't want to build more houses but what can you do when you have homeless beavers? I didn't want to... Let them be like that. And I paused one, two, three, four more breeding pots because the well-being is much higher now since we are using this or this. It doesn't matter. Some of them increased it so much and I didn't really lower the production of the beavers, if I can say it like that, or growing. Whatever. So that meant they live longer, so there are more beavers. So I stopped more of those. I was playing for roughly two or three cycles. I think this is the third cycle. I'm not 100% sure. And so far, it seems to be kind of stable. And we reach a thousand bots. We have an army strong of a thousand bots. We are the Legion. I am the Legion. 174 unemployed, but I am building a new district. I will show you in a second. So that's what was happening here. Not much, I know. I finished this canal here and then I was looking at this. Why did I build it like this? It it looks ugly. Maybe I will need to fill this one up now with the dirt. But I'm not sure if that will be, you know, enough these two dis districts, these two canals to irrigate all of it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think it's going around the 15 blocks to the sides. I'm not sure, but maybe we can try. We can try. Fill this up. At least this one section. Because I'm, I want it to look nice. Not only to be functional, but look nice. And this, this was the hill that was here with the bad water source. I blasted all of it and I'm building just this. I don't know what it is. It's just like a big decoration. It has no purpose. I'm just building it, building it like that. For no reason. I just like the looks of it. <laughs> so I'm waste, wasting a bunch of wood on that, but as you can see, we have a plenty of wood. That's why I was not recording first couple of cycles. I was just mostly waiting for the logs to build up. And I planted more trees down here. These are being already growing up nicely. And I added this new forest here. And with a lot of dirt. I spent a lot of dirt here. There was some blasting involved, as you can see. Blast it off. And I added this. This will be our new district. It's built at the platforms and overhangs. I have a power here, brought from my main district, just around here. It's kind of ugly, but industrial looks alright. Some charging stations is still not connected as a new district because I was doing some building and laying down these explosives. I'm just waiting now for the end of the dry season and I will blast it off. But maybe I don't even need to wait. I have all this water here in this reservoir. Ah, yeah, I see the I see the problem here. I build the sources on top instead of the bottom, so I can't get out all this water. I don't know how I, how didn't I notice this before? I wasn't really thinking about it. I will need to redo that, but I will wait for the wet season. And I need to delete it slowly to not overflow everything. So I will need to rebuild those sluices down at the bottom. I always make stupid mistakes like that. But that's fine, that's part of the game. So that's what's going on. Putting more dirt here, more explosives, blasting this off soon. Oh, I can blast this off right now. Let's do it. Ooh, what a better way to start the episode that than with the blasting. So this will be, I think, another district. I was thinking about building a district solely for the canola oil. Because as you can see, my grease storage is always empty. I have plenty of beavers. And I have barely 
any grease at all. Yeah, one, two. There, I, I didn't see more than like a couple of here. So, I'm, tr I'm going to be using mostly dirt to fill this amp. Like, I will have a canal like this. I will have a canal like this. I will get rid of this one or something. So I don't have like two canals next to each other because that makes no sense. I don't want it that way. So I will be rebuilding this, adding more dirt here. And this will be our district for making the grease. So I will be growing only canola and nothing else. And of course I will have those uh, factories for making grease. So that's the plan for this section, just a few blastings here and there. And I didn't do much elsewhere, I think. I was mostly focusing on that. And then yes, I'm building these district crossings, as I will be separating the power production from my main district. This will go under the new district here with the trees, they will not be exporting any wood, and that wood will be only used to power my generators. Nothing else. And I... Oh, they already built it, but yo, I just put these a minute ago. This is still not yet rebuilt. I, I'm just moving these 14 engines to this side, so it is nicely packed and tidy. And maybe I will be able to get rid of this mess that's here. So let's just prioritize them by horse. That's done. When they are co back connected back to the grid and filled up with the uh, wood, I can get rid of these. And even this forest for the pine resin, I will be leaving that with this new district. Maybe I will need more charging stations because I will need at least 50 bots I would like to move there. Not sure. I want three of these to be working at least. So that's 30 beavers. I uh, mean bots. 30 bot beavers. So that's already 60 from both sides. These last two I won't be using for now. They are spares. And I want at least one holding post. Maybe two. But probably... You know what? Let's build two. Why not? To... Ah, it's not a symmetrical... Dang it. Never mind. I don't like the look of that. Yeah, it's not great. But there is no way to do it because this is just 10 white. If only I build it 11 white or 9. Nah, it doesn't matter. Let's build it like this. <laughs> Problem solved. And build it like that. This will definitely not be enough of the forest. But I think... Maybe that district with the canola will not be here but more south. Or somewhere else. But I definitely want that district. Maybe this part I will be using for growing more trees for the power. So I'm going to build some storages down here. Something like this. I will probably don't need that many storages. But at least a couple of hundred, only for the generators. Okay, they are already working, the new ones. So let's get rid of these, these here. I don't need them anymore. This is really mess. Look at that. That's really ugly. Let me try to make it a little bit nicer. I will go with the line that I already have here. So let's continue with that one. So that will mean this will be connected here, like this. The second, this doesn't need to be connected because they are connected between each other, so that's fine. This is, this is the connection from the underground, I think. So that needs to go like this. Oh, this is even disconnected, okay. So I can get rid of that already. First, I will wait for them to build all of this. And then I will need to disconnect the generators for a minute. While they rebuild the rest of the power shafts. Okay, those connections are done. So now, let's reconnect them. Yeah, this is from the underground. And these, okay. So this is just the generators. 
So that means I don't need this. I didn't see it properly. That's my my mistake. Do I have all the engines connected? Because it seems like not enough connections. Ah, one is here in the corner. Okay, that's from these. These two rows are going up. These two rows are going up. Okay, they are all connected. So I don't even need that many connections. This, this, and this is already connected. Okay. And it will be much nicer, as you can see. Of course, when they clear this up. Because that's a lot of resources. And now, I need to disconnect this road. This can stay. Hmm, these two engines, I should remove them too. Yeah, let's get rid of them. I should have plenty of charging stations elsewhere. And look at that full storage with explosives. <laughs> I've never had so many explosives. 1600. Oh boy. Okay, that's disconnected. Now, this should be the only road leading in, maybe. Oh, there is some mess going on here, too. Let's get rid of that. I don't like it. This connection is going nowhere now, so that's unnecessary. It seems that this is not used at all. Maybe I can get rid of it. Did I disconnect anything? Oh, I disconnected these two generators. Okay, let's reconnect that a uh, little bit nicer. Like this. Much better. Okay, I think it is time to open the new district. This will be... a uh, Power district. Power sector. So, these two roads. Yes, it is all disconnected now. That's good. That's good and bad at the same time. And the new district is born. And now set this up. To not import any food. Let's import some wood for the start. And export threshold will be 95%. Don't need planks. You can export the pine resin, that's fine. Okay. They shouldn't be importing anything that they don't need. And the only thing they need is the logs. Maybe some building materials later, but... I will so solve that later. And now, let's move... At least 60, 70 beaver bots. I will probably need more charging stations. This will not be enough for 70 bots. But fortunately, I have all the power in the whole map in this district. So that shouldn't be an issue. So, minimum... Let's go with 80. 80 beaver bots. 80 beaver bots. And let's make some more charging stations. Somewhere here. Oh, I maybe can connect them directly to the generator. And use this space here that we have. I mean something like... This. But I need that connection to be empty. To be free. At least a few of those charging stations, just in case. Maybe the builders from my main district will be able to build it without me needing to send them some resources. And for the first, let's import a lot of logs and then they will be relying on their own production. Hopefully. And this way, it should be easier for me to manage my logs and not to overspend and then run out of logs for my engines as, as it happened many times <laughs> already at least that's the plan that's the thought if it will work that way that's another thing <laughs> ah yeah the from the main district they are building those charging stations good let's build four more here now if you need more science production as my science is going down and down because of these towers, control towers. And I want them everywhere. I know they are using a lot of science and I don't care. Maybe I can use some of my beavers up here. Let's lower the working hours to like 6 and build them inventor huts. Because they can use their time as a 
leisure and inventing new stuff but not working with their hands like physically work working in those hard factories or hard jobs in the factories they will be scientists that's one two three four five six at least but for only six hours a day that wouldn't be much i will probably need to add more number crunchers that's that's the problem for future me i would say <laughs> maybe i can squeeze some some here underwater yeah there is still space for them let's build a few more if i can fit any here oh that's the dirt excavators there blocking me maybe here hopefully that is still connected let's build just these three for now hmm my demand is 2000 more than my production so i will need to expand the engines never ending trouble with the power supply my beaver boards are hungry for more power more energy is needed fortunately we have plenty of resources to fix that need without much issues i think maybe it's time to reopen the earth repopulator and finally finish filling it up with treated planks and launch it for the first time I should have enough treated bunks. Yeah, I have a 500 together. So, it should be ready very quickly. I'll keep you posted. Oh, repopulator is almost ready. Ah, it is done. So, let's launch it for our first time. Some brave beaver. You are going out and I can't see you anymore. <laughs> Ooh, I need some more of them launching. It is sending those iron bots or normal beavers? I don't think my beavers are not going down. I thought that it will physically like launch my beavers out. Oh, this is the highest well-being score I ever had. 75. Oh boy, I've done it! Finally! They are flying! Yes! That looks like a Da Vinci designed that thing. Have a safe journey. I think it's launching iron bots, because they are working in it. Launches pioneers to distant lands when launched makes the beavers in the area extra happy. Ho ho! Congratulations! Well done! Your technological prowess allowed you to utilize industrial strengths of the Iron Teeth, conquer this map, and build the faction's wonder. Your pioneers flew away over the wasteland, leaving the thriving settlement behind them. If Earth is to recover, the newfound beaver prosperity needed to be shared. A day's past, 987. <laughs> Beavers born, 3,415. And so on. <laughs> Teeth broken, 209. <laughs> Manufactured bots, 4,052. Oh boy. And of course, my favorite, dynamite detonations. <laughs> Beavers exploded. Yeah, unfortunately there were some um, incidents a long time ago. Okay, so I literally conquered this map. But I think this happiness that it's giving it, 10 plus, will not last forever. So I will need to periodically be launching them. I think. I don't know how long will it last. But let's see. They are 75. Let's see them. Next tier well being at 77. The life expectancy, 130%. But it is already at almost full. I can use the modded things like Beautiful Dam and the Metal Staircase to increase it a teeny tiny bit, but I think the 75 is like a top currently that I can have. Amazing! And I will be doing this like three more times, as I said. I want one here, one here somewhere, and one here, like four of those districts. So this map is still not finished. I just needed to first make sure that my power will be never interrupted again. 
So I will have this district. So only purpose will be growing trees for the engines and generating power. Nothing else. And then next district will be for the Greece to make my bots a little bit more efficient. It will not increase their life, but it will increase their working speed. Yes, working speed will be 120% and movement speed will be plus 80%. So it's worth it. And I blasted this one more deep than I wanted. And dang it, Let's, we need to fix this. <laughs> Repair it. That was a my mistake. And how's this going? Uh, they are filling it slowly. I don't have too many beaver builders here in this district, so it takes some time. But I almost built the, this decoration fully. <laughs> yeah, it's missing a few pieces and it will be done. I had like 9000 wood where it all disappeared again. Did I use 4,000 wood for something? I have no idea where it all goes. <laughs> yeah, I was build rebuilding some power shafts, building some generators, but it doesn't seem like a 4,000 wood. Never mind, it's fine. The trees will grow again. I think it's time to start working on the next Elysium district. I don't know exactly how I will code this one and it is still not finished. I have only like the foundations laid out, but I need to get my beavers here to plant all these explosives so I can blast it off, especially these hills on the sides. Maybe I will be leaving at least part of this one as I will use that for abilities like motivatoriums that I can't build on the platforms. But I will be completely getting rid of this one. So I have more room to expand. And then I will be working on the final design. And deciding how many beavers we will be, will be living in this one. But I think around 200, 250 should be enough. A little bit less than it is currently living in this one. Definitely a little bit less. But I will need many more logs. I started planting a little bit more of trees here. I need so many trees and I will be expanding this canal. It seems that when I fill this one, it will be enough to have this irrigated. This one is uh, drying out right now a little bit because I'm closing this and there is no other water source for it. And I'll be rebuilding this big reservoir. I'm slowly releasing the water from it already. So I can build those sluices on the bottom as it as they should be from the beginning. A ah, big mistake. Okay, that's it. And yes, I start planting all those explosives explosives up here to get rid all of it, all of this. I will be probably growing more trees here and maybe having that next district. I will not be having it up here, I think. It's a little bit far away and I need, and not really need, but I would like to have the direct connection to my main district as this is the district where I have all my food and everything that is needed. So it will be too easiest to transfer the resources from this district directly to that Elysium district rather than going through this district to another district and then to Elysium. That should complicate the things a lot. And that would require even more bots to operate. So I'm going to build those last two a little bit close by. I can even do one here, one here somewhere in the middle and another on the side here. And they should be all connected to the main district. Something like that. I will work it out. I was doing some calculations. So how many trees I really need for the for running all these engines. So. I end up with a number of around 1800 oaks, 1800. So that's why I have always the problems with the logs <laughs> because I need approximately around 19 oaks for one engine. And I have, I didn't write it down, but I have like 93 or something like that, 93 engines. So I'm doing a few changes here. I'm replacing all these pints. Pine, pine trees that I had 
for the oaks. I am adding more for blah, 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 what it is woodcutters because they were not able to cut all this down and even it was I think it was too far away somewhere. It doesn't matter. They are working on it now. Slowly but steadily. I didn't have them uh, prioritized by horrors. Yes, I didn't have them prioritized by horrors. It took them forever to chop those trees down. That's one thing. Next. I replaced and I chopped down all these pine trees that I was growing here for the pine resin. Now I am growing them here. I even added a few more. And I'm adding a shit ton of new builders. I have plenty of unemployed, at least I had plenty of unemployed bo uh, bots. Now they are employed as a builders. So I need them. I need to deepen this. I am adding a lot of dirt here. This will be enclosed. I figured out what I will be doing with this canal. This canal will stay. I will just expand this one. I will get rid of these levees here. Build the platforms there or something. Or overhangs. So the water can flow. These will be all trees. So currently what I have here is... Count these two when it will be all oaks. Plus at least this part. I'm not sure. It was around... I don't know. A thousand trees. So I'm still 800 in deficit. So I need to plant more. But that's fine. Now that I know how many I need them. I can work around it. So all of this will be just growing trees. This will be my power sector. As I said before. Nothing else. Just growing trees growing trees because I want it to be growing like that that I don't need to import from my main district all the time because I went building this a little bit and what happened I ran out of the logs again almost completely almost I'm perfectly fine now but that wasn't for some time so I need to plant 1800 oak trees together 1800 somewhere here and that will be all just needed for the engines for these engines if I add more engines that will require even more power <laughs> more power more oaks but then when I have this sorted all I will start working on that water wheels here for the bad tide and when the regular water will be flowing I think I can use them on both of those I will figure it out later but I will start working on that now this is finally rebuilt the sluices are down as they should be now I mean on the bottom now I just need to rebuild those levees just a few levees like that so now this should work much better when emptying the reservoir and I'm filling up this little my old uh, canal that I had here this is perfectly fine what I have. So I'm expanding that one. I will need to add more dirt here. And when that's done, I will be able to grow a little bit more trees. It's not exactly that I really need that many trees. But I like my storage is full with ridiculous amount of resources. Like 1800 planks. 1600 gears. And stuff like that. And then having a lot of logs saved here because I want to decorate everything with the levees and all the stupid stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this will take a couple of cycles, I think. So don't hold your breath. I'll be back soon. Okay, I think it's time to blast all of this. I used almost all of my explosives, but they made them back because I resumed the production in those factories that I stopped them before. But that doesn't matter. Let's go and blast all of this. This will be a slight show for a while. Ho ho ho. There is some missing spot, but that's fine. We will fix that later. Look at all that water. And now under the new city. So many explosives. But that is not our last blasting because I prepared something else. I don't know if they already finished it. Oh, this looks kinda cool. Except that I missed the spot in the middle. Ah, whatever. Let's see if this is ready. 
ho 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 you see all that explosives see that oh yeah no not yet i'm not going to blast it yet first we are going to get rid of these platforms and put the explosives there too okay this will not take that long i have plenty of builders let's see how they will go I don't know if they are building something else currently, but they shouldn't. Okay, yeah, they are already bringing the explosives. Oh, they have a road there. Okay, so I don't even need this ladder. So let's get rid of it. Okay, this will be done almost instantly. In a terms of the, you know, beaver speak. Instantly, in like a day. Okay, only two missing. And I am going from the corner to not have total, like, lag fest. Because if I go from the middle, that would be definitely 1 FPS. Probably this will be 1 FPS too, when I'm thinking about it, but let's see. Blast off. <laughs> Get rid of it all. Ah, 4 FPS. 3 FPS. <laughs> Poor game. Even the sound is lagging. The explosions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We will be able to hold a little bit more water here. <laughs> Apparently. Hell yeah, that was, I don't know, a few hundred explosives and a lot of extract. And when the drought will end, I will delete this or destroy the floodgates and blast that off and make triple floodgates? No, I will be, I will use the sources this time, I think. On the top here. No. Hmm. Because I want to be able to... Be filled that up if I use all the water from the bottom too. So I can use all of this water that is holding here. So sources on top will not help. Sources on the bottom will only work when there is not enough water. I can this can't reach can't reach the top. So maybe I can build the sluices on the bottom and these floodgates on top. You know what then? I can build it here so it is a lot nice and connected. So sluices here and triple floodgates on top. Yes, exactly like that. And this teeny tiny piece needs to go too. And now I just need uh, a water down. Okay, this should be done quite quickly because we have all we need. Maybe I should add another lumberjack here or maybe they have... It's probably because of the storages are almost full. At least they were before I start building again. And I expanded the storages for the power plant so they can store many more logs. To have like a good stockpile because this is eating the logs like nothing when it's running. <laughs> okay, this is drying a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, because I have not done anything with this reservoir. It should be over to 6.5, even lower. Okay, there is clearly not enough water here. I, I leave it as it is. I'll fix that later. And let's see how this is doing. It will look something like this. It's not completely finished. Definitely not. There is still plenty of amenities missing from this build. But this is the start. And I like the like wings on the sides. <laughs> and I don't know, these tall buildings with those roofs. It, re it reminds me some of the Gothic architecture or something like that. And I didn't put the roofs on these houses because I didn't decide yet if I'll go higher or not. But I probably won't go that high. This is currently for around 120 beavers built. Maybe that will be enough. Okay, but for now, let's go and connect this together. So we can continue the construction. And I must pause almost all of the buildings here. The storage doesn't matter if they fill them up, but I really don't want these braiding pods be running. Oh, they are already paused. Okay. Everything else is fine if they fill it up. 
the storages. It will be at least prepared for the return of the beavers. Okay, let them construct that. That will be very expensive. Look at this magnificence, they almost built it whole, completely. The only thing is missing this roof and these roofs up here, but for that I need to build some scaffolding, so let's build the other here in the middle. It doesn't matter that I lose the road, it's fine. And now let them build the roof, they don't even need to go that high I think, this should be enough. And I still have 5,000 uh, wood. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I'm glad that nothing bad happened. Uh, the storages for the power generation uh, are kind of more emptier than before. But now the problem with the Swisses, I didn't thought about that, is that if I keep them running, this will never fill up. I need to adjust this, I think. So I am not really seeing water out. At least not as much water. How high this needs to go? At 70. Okay. It will require a little bit of tinkering, I think. More wood is needed. And more water is needed. I think it's the drought just ended. I wasn't paying attention. I was just turning off the UI and looking how they are building this. They have really everything here except for some amenities. Uh, wet for they will not be able to get so first I will want to do all those stuff all those things and that where this comes in I think but when I'm looking at it right now it will not look good I think I should get rid of this hill and then maybe build a new one maybe even here in the back let's build artificial one and have it there yeah, because here in the back there is nothing. So I think I'll be doing that. But that I will be leaving for later, I guess. Do I have dirt? Yes, I have plenty of dirt. Anyways, let's have a look back. How it is going with the water. Should I lower that gate? It is not filling up. This should be filled. This is filled. It is not releasing water. Okay. This is still releasing water. Okay, it's filling up a little bit. So it's taking its time. It's it's taking a little bit longer. Yeah, it starts filling this up. Okay, it takes just some time, but it will fill it up eventually. And I will want this to blast off. At least by one. I will not go deeper, I think. There is not right now. And then I will expand the canal around and stuff like that. So far so good. Okay, but I think I will be leaving this episode here. This was a lot of building and a lot of waiting. We released, we used our Earth Repopulator for the first time. I already sent once more when the well-being was getting a little bit down, like now. You know what? Let's send another batch of the pioneers to the world. Yes. 
Let's send them. Let's see if I can watch him fly. Choo! Can we can we see him? Can we see him? Where is he going? Ah, here's there. He's going to the road. He's going to start a new settlement. Well, probably not on on his own. Maybe he will meet someone that we already released before. Plenty of food, plenty of water. I wasn't even paying attention to that for the whole time because we don't even have that many beavers. And I even lowered the population a little bit here when I stopped those breeding pots. So we are sitting at less than 300 beavers currently. And 1100 bots. And for to grow this population even more, I will need to add more bot assemblers. I have all the components that I need, I think, so I can expand. Well, the heads are a little bit lower than the rest, but I think I can build a couple of more bot assemblers and increase the population if we need to, which we will definitely need. And I'm not sure that I have enough trees to feed this zap constantly, if that... I mean the trees in this district, that's for the power. Together I have definitely enough trees to feed this power hungry beast 24 hours a day but i will figure it out later so this is the end thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and look at this lovely new district please push that like button subscribe leave me some comments down below and i will see you in the next one have a nice day bye bye